go that direction? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Idea of size with that. <coughs> well, those bottles would be the size too. Yeah. The first selection of baskets we're about to see here are what we call in the Tawana language spudjot, our hard baskets. These particular baskets here are made out of a base of cedar roots finely split and imbricated with bear grass, cherry bark, and cedar bark. These baskets principally were used for berry gathering and stone boiling cooking baskets. This cradle board was made by Mabel Jones and it's made on a cattail base imbric imbricated with raffia and finished with white buckskin. Here we are looking at some uh, mountain goat horn feast ladles from the Skokomish tribe. A few of these are from the uh, Chinook tribe brought to us trade. And now we're looking at some mat creasers, Kliskos creasers. These are carved out of maple wood and are used to run along the length of the U-wood needle that sews the cattail mats together. These are some adds is the one on the left is made out of trade metal, the one on the right with stone blades. Uh, we're looking here at one of the uh, tribal ceremonial masks representing a cannibal woman. There's some stone adds blades and a hooded Mergenser rattle used for ceremonial purposes around the turn of the century.
this final shot is the this this final shot shows a Skokomish or Tawana gambling set. The sticks are painted to represent the loon's power. The drums are made out of deer skin stretched over a cedar frame. And the headdresses are made out of bald eagle feathers. We have the hawk power here worn by the guesser in this particular gambling set. This concludes the showing of the uh, artifacts that the Skokomish tribe has been purchasing with the uh, money earned from the tribal enterprises. It's just the beginning of we, what we hope to be uh, many fine things for our collection here at the Tribal Center. <laughs> this is what we have to do on TV. We have to go to this commentary. <laughs> go back, back and forth. How about if I say... I'll ask you for a little insight on some of the tribal operations and you bring it... Yeah, you bring well, it our side. most important one is the fish <coughs> processing plant, and uh, which has been in operation now for three years, and we'll be now introducing Jake Smith. Huh. Come on, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out how to get from... Okay, all right, I'll try it, see. <clears throat> Here we are at the uh, Skokomish Tribal Center, which is in its final stages of completion. I'm talking to Ann Pavel, who is the vice chairperson of the Skokomish Tribe. And I was wondering, Ann, if you might tell us about some of the tribal enterprises that you have going here at Skokomish. We have two enterprises that are profit-making for the tribe. The most important one is the fish processing plant, which is located about three-quarters of a mile from the tribal center grounds. And we'll be going up there to talk with Jake Smith, it's Jake Smith who is managing the enterprise for the past three years. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. Something like that will be all right? Yeah, that's okay. that's we're getting closer. We're here at the Skokomish Tribal Center, which is now in its final stages of completion. I'm speaking with Ann Pavel, who is vice chairperson of the Skokomish Tribe. I was wondering, Ann, if you might uh, give us some insight on some of the tribal enterprises that you have going out here. We have two tribal enterprises. The most important one to the tribal members is the fish processing plant, which has been in operation for three years. It's managed by a tribal member, Jake Smith, and we'll be going up there and he'll take us on a tour of the plant and its operations. Okay? Want to see it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see myself stutter? You ready? Okay. Income from tribal enterprises is being budgeted 
for land purchase, social services, education programs, and per purchase of items for our tribal museum. This is part of the basket collection that we've collected and we bought from tribal members. It shows the uh, the designs typical of the Skokomish tribe, the dog, and the mountain goat, and the fox. Now where are we? Okay. Then you should go into the other baskets, I guess. I can just dub that in on some. Yeah. They've already got the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you can, you can just dub that in. So i got to get the dub. 